Greetings, Phil McCordick here with another science experiment. This one is the self-filling bottle. For this experiment, you are going to need, you guessed it, a bottle. A glass bottle with a small opening at the top. So like a white wine bottle or a fancy bottle like this is perfect. Now you're going to need a straw and a way to stuff the opening. So this bottle came with a cork. And what I have done here is, if you can see, I have drilled a hole in the cork, the diameter of the straw, and then I push the straw through, and then that fits into the bottle just like that. Very nice. Now, if your parents don't have a drill the exact diameter of a straw, or you can't convince them to get it out and drill a hole through a cork, don't worry, I've got you covered. You can also use plasticine to stuff the neck of the bottle. When you do it, make sure that you put the straw and the plasticine in at the same time. Don't stuff the straw through the plasticine. Now, the key thing is to have the straw flush with the top, because you're gonna wanna put your thumb on top of it and seal the end of the straw during the experiment. Okay, so. Now that you have that, the next step is to add some heat. Get yourself a bowl, some hot water, and you're gonna pour the hot water on the bottle. Now make sure you use an adult with you when you do this experiment. Make sure an adult's permission, or even get your adult to pour the hot water. But you don't have to pour it all over the bottle, you just wanna pour it sort of on the main part, so you can still hold it with your hand. You can also use a tap. It doesn't have to be super, super hot. So why are we pouring hot water on this bottle. Well, we want to make the air inside the bottle hotter. And one of the ways to do that is to heat the glass of the bottle itself, and that will heat the air. And when it gets hotter, it has a higher pressure. And when it has a higher pressure, the air gets squeezed out of the bottle because a lot of molecules of air are going faster and faster and faster, and they go out of the bottle. So they're coming out of the straw. Okay, so now we've heated up the bottle. Here's what we do next. Make sure again that you're using an adult to help you for this step because it might be a little hot, but you should be able to pick it up with your hand. You shouldn't have to make it so hot that you can't. And what you do is you stick your thumb on the straw. Stick your thumb on the straw and don't take it off for the next step. Some cold water and it, uh-oh. Whatever you do, even if you forget where you put everything, keep your thumb on the straw. Exactly the same process. Pour the cold water on top of the bottle. So now what's happening is we're cooling the bottle, which will cool the air molecules inside the bottle. And that means there will be a lower pressure in the bottle. And normally air will go back inside the bottle, but it can't because we've got our thumb on the opening. So leave that in there for a while. Sometimes it helps, it helps to put ice in this water so you can really cool it down. Keep your thumb on the bottle. Remember to keep your thumb on the bottle. Now we need another container and we're gonna put some water in that container. And this water, it doesn't matter what temperature it is. You know what? Ooh, you can even put some food coloring in this water to make it extra cool. Let me go get some food coloring. I'm keeping my thumb on the bottle. All right, very nice. There we go. Blue, still got your thumb on the bottle? Good. Now what you do is you stick your hand in the water and make sure you get that cap underneath the surface and then let go. Whoa! Cool! Water shoots into the bottle. The water shoots into the bottle. It gets sucked into the bottle. So why does this happen? Well, don't think about the water being sucked in. Think of it being pushed in from all of the pressure outside the bottle. You see, we live under one atmosphere of pressure. We have an entire atmosphere above us pressing down. Now we don't notice it because we're used to it, but that's actually quite a bit of pressure. And so the pressure pressing down on top of this water is enough to shoot the water into the bottle because the pressure inside the bottle is lower. Now why doesn't this happen normally? Like if the bottle is at the right temperature and the pressure is all the same and we cork it, put our finger on it and let go, nothing happens. Why? Because the pressure inside the bottle and the pressure outside the bottle are the same, which means the pressure pushing down this way and the pressure pushing from inside down that way on the water is all the same so it doesn't go anywhere. So what you need to do is create an imbalance, make the pressure lower inside the bottle for the water to shoot up. And there you go, the self-filling bottle experiment. 
This video is dedicated to Elizabeth, Catherine, and Benjamin and their family who support me on Patreon. Thank you very much for helping me do what I like to do, which is give kids fun information about science. If you would like to support me on Patreon, the link is below, and you can always like and subscribe and share to help me out as well. And until next time, I will see you later.